now that we have learned now that we have learned the methods of depreciation slm and wdv our next step is to learn the accounting treatment that means once you calculate the amount of depreciation either using slm or wdv how to treat it in accounting we have two methods of accounting treatment one is traditional method and next is provision for depreciation method there is no name called traditional method and hence i call it as traditional method let us try to understand both the methods simultaneously traditional method and provision for depreciation method provision for depreciation method is also called as accumulated depreciation method why it is called so we will discuss later on under traditional method the journal entry is depreciation account debit to asset account now we have already learned the calculation of amount of depreciation whether you use slm method or wdv so let us say the amount of depreciation is 5000 so the journal entry for charging depreciation which is usually charged on the last day of the accounting period is depreciation account debit it's a nominal account debit all expenses and losses to asset account real account credit what goes out now you must be wondering asset is not going out of the factory then why are we crediting asset account it is because the value of asset is reduced over a period of time and therefore we credit asset account uh, due to wear and tear the value of asset has reduced next we all nominal accounts have to go to pnl account at the end of the year so we transfer depreciation account to profit and loss account profit and loss account debit to depreciation account let us see how these things will appear in the balance sheet in the first year so i'm preparing a an extract of balance sheet for the first year only the asset side i'm ignoring the liability side so machine because it's a fixed asset it will, it will appear in the balance sheet asset side we bought at say 1 lakh rupees less depreciation 5000 because we created asset account 5000 will be deducted from this machine and outer column we will be showing 95000 so by passing the first entry depreciation account debit to asset depreciation obviously will not appear in the balance sheet because it is nominal account it will go to profit and loss account but to asset because asset is created that means i will deduct asset by 5000 to arrive at 95000 this 95000 is wdv or book value now let us see how balance sheet will look like in the next year if we pass the same journal entries so in the next year's balance sheet the machine will look uh, will be seen at 95000 less depreciation if it is if you are following slm method then again the amount of depre will be 5000 and therefore outer column 90000 so if you see the wdv will keep on decreasing every year because you are charging depreciation directly to the asset account so value of asset keeps on reducing now let us come to provision for depreciation method the first entry for charging depreciation is depreciation account debit to provision for depreciation account now this makes this method different from the previous method here we are not crediting asset account depreciation account is debited as usual but provision for depreciation account is credited instead of asset account which means asset account is not touched over the period of its life a separate account called provision for depreciation account is created and depreciation gets accumulated in that account year after year and hence it is also called as accumulated depreciation method next as usual we will transfer depreciation being a nominal account to profit and loss account pnl account debit to depreciation account now it would be very interesting to see how things will appear in the balance sheet so let us prepare the balance sheet for the first year because we did not touch asset account machine will remain at its original cost 1 lakh and provision for depreciation account has got a credit balance it will appear in the balance sheet on the liability side provision for depreciation say 5000 so if you notice this is quite this balance sheet appears quite differently from the previous method where machine remains at its original cost whereas under previous method it was reduced to 95000 now the point to be noted here is for the sake of presentation you can show provision for depreciation as a deduction from machine on the asset side but that does not mean you are reducing the value of machine in the ledger account machine will still remain at 1 lakh this year's closing balance in machine is 1 lakh and next year's opening balance will remain at 1 lakh only for the sake of better pr uh, presentation you can show both the items on the asset side by showing a deduction of provision for depreciation from machine 
but the outer column 95000 is not a realistic figure in the next year as i told you machine will still appear at 1 lakh because we are uh, using provision for depreciation method and provision for depreciation method provision for depreciation account balance will increase to 10000 because after charging second year's depreciation the balance in that account will be 10000 so we have learned the journal entries under both the methods